Hey there, this is Mr. Smith, and... Wait. Wait. Why is someone holding the camera vertically? This video is being presented in horizontal format. If you're holding the camera vertically, it ends up recording this vertical line here, and I get black borders on either side. This thematically looks really bad. It shows a lack of forethought and planning on the recorder's part, and more importantly, you're not getting the, your full resolution's worth. It has to shrink the video in order to fit it on this screen. If this video was for something like Snapchat or Instagram, sure, that makes sense. But if you're going to put it up on YouTube or hand it in for a project grade in my class or put it up on a big screen or on a TV, you want horizontal video. This can't do. We got to fix this. We got to have these things go away. Okay. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so before we actually get started, let me just say that this tutorial is meant for my middle school media art students. That's my target audience. There is a very good chance that you're going to get something useful out of this, but if you aren't one of my middle school students and you have experience with using HitFilm for Express, this might be something you already know how to do. All right, so here I have some video of me dancing embarrassingly in front of the camera with recorded video that was done vertically as opposed to horizontally. Most vertical videos I see involve somebody embarrassing themselves, so I figured this would be a good choice to do. Now, to start off, we can maximize this a little bit. As you can see, there's a bunch of space above my head. The camera wasn't exactly lined up properly, so I can actually take this and enlarge it a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to hold the shift key let me drag this up a little bit. I'm going to hold the shift key when I click on one of these nodes in the corner and pull. That will keep it to scale. If I don't hold the shift key, then it ends up stretching all kinds of weird ways. And well, let's not go there. Let's control Z that. Okay, so I stretch this out a little bit more. And I can align this. And there we go. I'm taking up a little bit more space. It's still a bit of a waste. I still have all this empty space on either side. We need to fill that in somehow. Well, there's more than one way to do that. If you're going to do a quick and cheaty way to fill in that space, what I normally see when somebody pirates a bunch of videos from Vine and puts them on YouTube, because creating original content is too hard for them, they just take some type of image and put it in the background. Oftentimes, it's their channel logo because, heaven forbid, somebody steal from somebody who stole. I can, if I want to, right click on the clip, go to transform and have it fit to frame if it's an image that I want to scale in a specific way or I could pick fit to frame width or height. The reason I didn't do that for my original video was because as you can see rescaling it does bad things. Now if you don't want to do the simple cheaty way there is a slightly more complex way and it involves a bit of copy pasting and one of the effects. I can take this video and control C to copy or you can click there and I'm going to add it again and move this clip directly below the first one. Now they're identical so you can't even see that one's on top of the other. We're going to change that. So we're going to take one of these clips. It doesn't really matter if I'm holding the shift key for this but I feel like I want to. And we're going to enlarge it to the point that it's filling the screen. It doesn't need to have all the details. It just needs to fill the screen. And ideally, we're going to have something that has a lot of movement in it. So I'm swinging my arms around a lot. I'm going to have those there. Now, this clip's on top, which means I can't see the other one. So we are going to swap these real quick. There we go. And that still doesn't look very good. So we're going to apply an effect. We're going to throw a blur on that. I searched it in advance to save time. And we can increase the radius or iteration. We don't want to make it too blurry, just blurry enough that the focal point is the original video. This does manage to fill the space. And because the movement is in sync with the clip, that means the whole thing feels like it belongs together. Is it as good as if we recorded this video horizontally as opposed to vertically? No, that would have been a lot better. But if we have a video that was recorded the wrong way, 
for the presentation format we want to put it in, sometimes this is the best you can do. And in all honesty, this kind of works, except for that dance. That dance doesn't work at all. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.